You make me feel weird about it, stupid. <laughs> I'm happy we're like this, aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. Fun might come in. Why is this one so hard to close? Does this thing you fit you properly? It did when I bought it? Your button did you. I noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... Why does it feel strange to me? Her blazer buttoned up like that. So stuffy. Not worth it at all. What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? He will need and let you do things like this. This was anyway. That's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. I'm a girl and this logic makes no sense. Let's see, it didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Why don't you focus on going to bed earlier? And how are you gonna know? What's the deal? <laughs> Taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So you should come wake me up in the morning? You're doing it again, Sayori. Stop joking that time. Uh-huh. Possible to tell. Yeah. I have to admit, this is all sugary sweet looking. And... Uh, let's see. Wait, can't wait to read mine. Oh boy. Yeah. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inversion because I've never really done this before. Well, now everyone is ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! It's on a wrinkled sheet of loose sleeve torn from a spiral notebook. Okay. Here's in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's handwriting from where I sit. Well, I might as well reach in their bags. I did the same myself. Who should I show my phone to first? Okay, Yuri. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh. Sorry! I forgot to start speaking. <laughs> Don't force yourself. Hey, I forget to start, start speaking all the time. See, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. <laughs> no! <laughs> Can I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. I take care of while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, uh, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. Okay. I've been through that myself, but I kind of learned to pick up on them. Let's see. I didn't, I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. Tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and then form fit the two together. So is that both style and expressiveness are legitimate. Okay. Uh-huh. And skills and techniques go into writing your simple poem. Okay, um, can we hurry along then, sweetie? Let's see. Finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. Okay, just tell me if it's good or bad. That's all I really care about. Not so you can be a little bit biased, though. How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. No, 
come on, I love some gossip. Give me some gossip. Uh, mind if I read your poem? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. An opportunity for her. After all, isn't that supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing, it must be this one, the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last to get to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calms, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. Long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Ain't that a relief? Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. No. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I'm going to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Now you got me wondering what the heck you normally write about. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all. Really? I totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. As a writer, I can say, yeah, this is true. You should do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. Yeah, sometimes. Okay, so perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. Do you need a therapist, honey? And soon to be left with nothing. Yeah, I think we need to call a therapist. So, that's one way of putting it. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy when you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. Guess I have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Let's uh, see. That's a little blunt. Excuse me. Like I said, it was bad. I just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. I get smacked? <laughs> Why is it she trying to smack me, but when everybody else is running their mouths, she ain't smacking them? <sighs> I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fl Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Uh, huh. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because no one in the high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So you don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? The rest of it wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yeah, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits your heart. Like in this poem. See, everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. I understand. The other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. Let's bring out the feeling of the last line. So you did. I guess more wanted to not realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Uh-huh. Glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I don't really care how old everyone is, but not since he's feeling proud, I won't take that away from her. Yeah, sure, let's let her have that. Ah, uh, sorry. Oh my goodness, this is so good! Eh. Love it! No idea, you're such a good writer. Sayori. 
Okay, I'm seriously wondering what is in her... Oh boy. Not a good writer at all. I have no idea what I'm doing. No, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Opinion is way more constructive than this. Yeah. Sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh. Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So I read your poem. It's not just a poem. It's a... It's a Kina poem. Oh, boy. And that makes it feel extra special. Like you can feel your bones in it. Honey, are you crazy? Weird, Sayori. Weird? Yeah, that's not right. I was happy you wrote one. Just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, shit. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. And again, I can't deny she's probably the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? Somehow I doubt this. Your way of thinking you. Uh, just buy me a burger and we'll go with that. <sighs> I'm really bad at this. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning makes me feel like you missed me kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I would sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Okay, you lost me. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit? You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. What do you mean? <laughs> Still trying my best. Yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. <laughs> I mean, eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late for school. It's bad to skip breakfast. Well, now we know why she's always late, don't we? I get all cranky. I guess there's no point in arguing. Thanks for showing me. So much fun! Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. The next time, I won't forget. But I'm gonna write the best poem ever. I guess I look forward to it. I really am not. So, now to Monica. Let's see what happens here. Can I so far? Yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going to flow until I'm more solid. Yeah. Well, wanna share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's this sort of barrier we'll all learn to get past soon. Uh huh. Makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had these sort of things in common. Well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. That may be the case. But maybe they're also something you wouldn't expect. She talks about you. Sounds like the two of you really care each other's well being. If you show it in different ways, it comes up being more similar than you think. I kind of vibe when I, I get when I read your poem. I just threw words together and saw what stuck. Sure, you're not reading into it too much? I'm um, pretty sure. Let's see. I sound like Yuri. But I'm 
case Sarah's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring it with emotions like happiness and sadness. I know that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too. Uh huh. Totally expected. Well, that was a cat that just fell. <sighs> Teach their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It'll take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you guys if you try new things. That's the best way to find that kind of style that suits you. Though us might be a little bit biased towards their own styles. I'll always help you find what suits me the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. Not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ha <laughs> ha! my poem now. Oh, I'm not very good. I'm gonna recount some of the plays to not be very good. You sound confident. Doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Let's read it then. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. Noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out of the sun. It's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. Let's see. Hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. Realizing I wasn't looking in, I was looking out, and he on the other side was looking in. So, what do you think? It's very freeform, if that's what you can call it. Sorry, I'm not really right for stats for feedback. It's okay. That kind of style is good. pretty popular nowadays. It's a lot of poems are putting emphasis on timing between the words and lines. Formed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? <laughs> well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. This one influenced my poems a bit. Epiphany. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone has better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. Try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Well, that's actually sound advice. Keep your pen in the same spot, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Mm -hmm. Thanks for listening. Uh huh. Phew. Guess that's everyone. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Judging me for my mediocre writing abilities, if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can sample theirs. Well, that girl. <sighs> Guess that's what I get for getting, end up getting myself into. Eyes land on Yuri and Atsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. Atsuki's eyebrows growing in frustration. Now Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Hmm? Uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. I guess you could say it's fancy. Thanks. Where's this cute? Cute. Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Oh! He's that say? Couple suggestions. I just want to see a beatdown. Somebody, come on, Natsuki! Sayori liked it, and <laughs> even Angel Sakina did too. So, based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <laughs> Home too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. It. 
Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Come on. Can we just have a fight? <laughs> Come on. Chick fight. Chick fight. <laughs> I was fooling myself. I wouldn't deliver girl my way to that thing over the cutesy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Herself, I learned to appreciate that simple writing is more effective than this wouldn't have happened in the first place. <laughs> have to figure it out. <laughs> Let me explain that to her. <laughs> Wait, there's a reason we have so many demons for supports in our life language. Is still ready to <laughs> You understand that, right? Oh crap, I attracted to this in the first place! Cause you were there! <laughs> They'll probably think more highly of me. Okay. Um shit. Well, as much as I'll agree with uh Natsuki, I kinda like Yuri more, so I'm just gonna go with Yuri. Natsuki. You're right that I liked your poem. Wait, it's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. It's not what happened at all. You wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Mm hmm? I understand. You're right. You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret I was impressed. But here's the thing. I knew I'd also have a few of these writing styles. They're still pretty confusing. It becomes something really personal. Let's go and see if that's right. Waiting for her to punch somebody. No, 
I don't hate him. I just want to see him fight. Makes me the happiest. I think everyone really likes you too. That's he. Is it so much fun? So I say we're still in the car. The kind of situation I'm in. That's she. But does it really need to stop there? It's up to her, but it's easy to use sailors and internal monologues sometimes. So I think I'm just going to save here for now. Oops. And figure out how to do this. And I think we're going to call that a uh, done for the night because in all honesty, I am Closing in on my hour mark, so we'll try to come back to this on Monday and see what ends up happening. Alright, have a good night!